I'm crazy with it. I'm crazy with it. Check this out. Yes! <laughs> yes! Get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's Himothy, dude. He's Himothy. He is Himothy, dude. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Showdown Live. Now, I know what you're thinking. Marcos, why are you by yourself? Uh, I need to ladder up the main account. It is an emergency. I do not play on my main account. I play on all of my alts because I feel like I'm consistently prepping for a tournament now. And my main account is drowning in low elo. What am I at? I'm at 1244. So the goal today is to hit at least 1400, maybe 1500. Or maybe I'll just give up after losing a few games. But what I actually want to do is show off Quaquaval. I think Quaquaval has some um, absolute spice in this uh, upcoming format. Or this current format of Regulation C. Uh, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed this thing, on time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And that's my comment question of the day, which is, what Pokemon do you think partners with Chen Pao super well? Anyways, let's uh, go over this team. Uh, and I need to update my team pastes, but yeah, this, this could go one way or another. I could absolutely destroy or lose really hard today. We'll just see what I can do. Um, I needed to record something. So yeah, we have Chen Pao. It is Terra Ghost Focus Sash. Ice Spinner, Protect, Sucker Punch, and Haze. The reason we have Haze on this is because Quaqua Ball takes over the role that Palavin would typically take on this sort of team. Um, and because of that, we're lacking a solid answer to Don Dozo. Chan Pao should always outspeed Don Dozo, barring any speed boosts from a Yellow Tatsugiri uh, or a Tailwind, uh, which is super uncommon with Dozo. But uh, that'll allow me to haze away the stat changes and then clear it away with like Spec Splutter Man. We have Clear Amulet, Himothy. Uh, he is Terrifier, Moxie, uh, Close Combat, Aqua Step, and the final move is Baton Pass. I was actually considering running Encore, uh, Ice Spinner, and at one point, even just like Terra Blast Fire. But I actually found Baton Pass to be really useful because this guy, if he gets plus one, plus one, all of a sudden, this more supportive Arcanine becomes super scary and then the Dragonite becomes like near un unbeatable uh but yeah he is he is just doing his thing um he's at 143 speed so if he gets to plus one we're now at speeding Dragapult which is really nice uh we have Amoongus here uh Protect, Spore, Pollen Puff, Rage Powder I'm actually gonna let me uh, let me actually update that spread I have a different spread that I want to run um, that I came up with the other day. Let me just go ahead and steal that from this pokey paste that I have. Um, so yeah, this is just like a general physically defensive spread. It has enough speed where if I'm facing off against Garganical, I'm going to be able to Pollen Puff before they, before they Consult Cure, which is actually really important. Um, because a lot of Garganical aren't running zero speed now because they don't want to get, you know, outspeed by Namoongus. Uh, also, this will allow me to outspeed zero speed Ting Lu and, fish, and put them to sleep before they can Fissure. We have Choice Specs Fluttermane, 170 speed. Um, you know, just a decent speed tier. I, I mean, we're mostly just looking to live hits. Next to Chen Pao, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, uh, but it's just bulky specs. It does what it does. Safety Goggles, Fat Arcanine. It's going to take a headlong rush after an Intimidate drop. And we have Terra Normal Dragonite. It used to be Terra Flying, but I have actually never run Terra Normal Dragonite plus Chen Pao. And judging by how I do against them, uh, it should be a pretty decent uh, combination. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully we can get some uh, decent games here. And I'm going to try to focus. I feel like in these showdown lives, I'm too busy, uh, like, trying to talk to you guys. And, like, I, I need to focus more on, like, hey, what's going on on the screen? So let me analyze the situation. Bam. Open team sheets. Uh, let's see. So we see you guys running Terra Ghost, uh, Flutter Main, which is really interesting. They tend to be Terra uh, Fairy. Choice Scarf Chen Pao is actually kind of crazy. Boost Energy Iron Bundle. All right. This... This is actually really scary. He's got ally switch on a Sarah Ledge. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm not feeling confident here. The Terra Ghost on this makes me know that I'm never going to be uh, able to extreme speed it. Um, And we have a Moongus with a Rocky Helmet. Ah, oh man. Do I... I think I kind of have to lead off Arcanine here. It's not clear amulet on the Sarah Ledge, so it's like... It's a decent lead. Um, I think what we might do is just go Arcanine and Himothy. We'll bring Chen Pao in the back. And probably Dragonite as our last Mon. Because we're going to have to rely on priority here. Alright. We saw the Dragonite is uh, Choice Band. Uh, it's not Inner Focus though, so... 
What I should be able to do here is get off a burn. I'm a little bit concerned about a double into my Arcanine. Ice Spinner is already resisted. And I'm also concerned with you. So we'll just Willow Wisp you, go for the Protect. Hopefully we don't get crit or doubled into. I think they're concerned about Himothy. Like the, the sheer amount of pressure he puts off with this with this dance is uh is a little too much for them. I think I think they're gonna be concerned. But yeah, burning this uh Dragonite is gonna be key to winning here. I don't exactly have a switch in for Himothy I'd like to go for. In fact, it would have been nice had I brought my uh, Fluttermane here because if they lock into the wrong move, I'm just like fine, but we just have to see what we can get. They go Sarah Ledge trying to predict a burn on the wrong Pokemon. That's fine. They go for Extreme Speed. As long as I land, I'm in a really good spot. That is sick. That is awesome. They ended up wasting their Terra immediately. So what I can do here is just protect and I don't want to Terra Fire. I can just Aqua Step to K or actually I should probably go Chen Pao. To guarantee I get this KO on Sarah Ledge. But they could also... Let me think. They could also go for like Ally Switch, which is annoying. Because it's a Ghost type and I have a Fighting type. Yeah, this is really frustrating. Okay, uh, let's Protect here and I'm just going to Aqua Step. Alright, let's see if they Protect. They don't go for a Protect, which means I'm going to miss out on that KO. Dang, that sucks. As they go for the Swords Dance. Luckily, I am... Unable to hit them. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I just realized I can't actually touch the Sarah Ledge because he's Flash Fire. He's going to be able to Rage Powder me. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to Protect and try to get in Shampao. I could also go Dragonite. Actually, Dragonite seems fine. Yeah, I'll go Dragonite and Protect. They should Rage Powder here. They actually ally switch me. That is disrespectful as hell, dude. All right. Um, what's the priority on ally switch? Hold on. Is it plus two? Yeah, ally switch is plus two and extreme speed is like plus three, right? Plus two. So it's the same. As long as I'm faster than this guy, my extreme speed will go first. It's probably just in my best interest to get in the Arcanine and go for an Ice Spinner on this Amoongus. We go for Bitter Blade. Doesn't do too much. That's a concerning amount, I'll be honest. All right, there we go. He's Rocky Helmet. I'm gonna go for Pollen Puff into me. That Bitter Blade did more than I'm comfortable with now that I think about it. 44%, I actually dropped to the next one. And I don't wanna go for a Flare Blitz because they could just go for the it could just go for the Silly Goose move. So I think here my best play is actually going to be Terra Normal Extreme Speed and get in my Chim Pao. While I might actually lose my Dragonite here, I guarantee get the KO on the Amoongus as long as I'm fa I'm not faster than them. Oh my god. And they don't know how Pollen Puff works. <laughs> this is my pain. This is this is my this is this is uh, my pain. Um. So I can extreme speed here and also just sucker punch the Sarah Ledge. Uh, that's fine. Extreme speed should KO Amoongus from this range. Sucker punch will get the Sarah Ledge if it wants to try to attack. I, it's it's whatever. This has been a very strange game one uh, due to the interactions I have with this thing. Uh, I've maintained my Sash on my Chien Pao. So I think here I actually go Arcanine and Protect. A nice little intimidate there. You go for the sacred sword onto my arc. Uh, let's go ahead and just. I can just ice spinner and flare blitz. To be honest, I want to get rid of you. It's not like it's not like Himothy loses to this thing, and I can go for the Himothy end game. He's also locked in the sacred sword, which you know whatever. He's gonna KO my champ. Oh, he didn't even KO the champ. That's so interesting. That's so, that's so interesting. Why well, you wouldn't do that? All right. Well. <laughs> Look, we need to get up higher in the ladder for a reason. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that this isn't entertaining content. I hope it is. But also, you can see why I'm interested in getting higher on the ladder so I can stop facing Bruxish. <laughs> okay. Um, so here we do see the possibility of like a Scarf um, Chi Yu plus Fluttermane lead. But actually like... The Himothy lead isn't even that bad here. It's not really that bad. Because I'm Terra Fire, I can eat whatever as long as it's not like a spec Shadow Ball. 
Um, and I do have the threat of Sucker Punch. So I think I actually just want to lead off with the duo. In the back, we'll bring our own Fluttermane. And I think I go Dragonite here. I'm going to turn on the timer. Show me your team sheets, cowards. I guess they could be practicing for the... Um, What's it called? The... Uh, I can't think of the name of it. The uh, Global Challenge. All right. They go with the Roaring Moon plus Annihilate lead. Honestly, not that big of a fan of this. Luckily, uh, no set Roaring Moon currently runs can deal with both a Close Combat and an Ice Spinner. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and play the lottery here and go for the Ice Spinner <laughs> and hope for the best. All right, I guess they were trying to bet on the Sucker Punch. Oh, that's fine because... Ooh, okay. Hold on. Himothy, uh, Himothy deserves better than this. Let me go into my Fluttermane. And I'm going to go ahead and Terra Ghost. Ice Spinner the Annihilate for some damage. Actually, no. I can just go Fluttermane and Terra Ghost. Ice Spinner the Bruxish. Because this prevents Final Gambit from ever going off. As long as I get rid of Bruxish soon. Yeah, that's fine. Do it again, Stinky. Thank you. Nice. I wonder what their setup is. Are they going to try to trick room me? Oh, they got rid of you. Uh, Not a fan of this. Not going to lie. Not a fan. Luckily, Annihilate is stuck trying to go for this. And I do have the option of just protecting here. But I might need to hard call out my opponent. I think I'm going to hard call out my opponent and say that here they don't go for a third final gambit. And that they'd rather just switch and get their move. Ooh. I'm crazy with it. I'm crazy with it. Check this out. Yes! <laughs> yes! Get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's Himothy, dude. He's Himothy. He is Himothy, dude. All right. Uh, we know that this Annihilate literally can't protect, and now I'm not guaranteed faster than him, but the Sucker Punch is, like, super safe, and I can also just Aqua Step again. And Dragonite plus Champow should win. The Terra Flyings, that's fine. Rage Fist. Aqua Step KOs. Yeah, and now it's a, now it's a 2v1, where I have extreme speed on my Dragonite. He goes for the Breaking Swipe. Himothy does not care. We're going to go ahead and hit him with this close combat and this extreme speed, and that is game. Oh, wait, why am I close combating? He's not he's not flying type anymore. But this will do it. <laughs> this will do it. He's Himothy. He's Himothy, dude. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Himothy goes insane here, if I can set it up right. If I can get this guy in the right position, Himothy just clears this whole team. Let's just lead off with it. Yeah, let's just lead off with it. Um, same with the Champow. I think I need my Arcanine here. Eh, Arcanine's questionable with the with this guy. Let's just go with our low kick Dragonite and Fluttermane. Actually, Amoongus is really good. Let's do uh, let's do Amoongus. Left open team sheets. I should probably start doing that first. I'm turning the timer too. I'm so proud of Himothy for that last game. All right. King Gambit. Palafin. Um, there is no King Gambit set that takes both of these attacks, except for Terra Flying. If he's Terra Fire, he drops to this. If he isn't, I'm an idiot. I'm going to double attack the King Gambit. Please be like Terra Flying or something stupid. Terra Fire and Terra Flying drop to this. He should be scared of a close combat. I think he has to. Terra. 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 You want a Terra so bad. He didn't Terra. Oh, no. All right, that's fine. Um, I'm not guaranteed faster, but I can actually just Aqua Step here and protect and get rid of Arcanine. 
And then this guy's like in a really bad spot. Or actually, maybe I... Ah, dang it, hold on. You know what? I accept the burn and I win with my Dragonite. So I actually, yeah, I'm going to Aqua Step here and protect. And if he lands the burn, I'm just going to... Okay, interesting. I guess they were trying to call that out specifically. That does a lot for uh, for what the move is, though. Kowtow Cleave? Okay. Um... I mean, I, I don't know what they're going for here. Let's just go ahead and close combat Sucker Punch, and that should do a decent amount to Balafin. I guess I could all... They have Protect on their King Gambit, right? I'm just going to close combat Sucker Punch, and I think that'll do it. Come on. Here's a defense drop. You can do it. Come on, Himothy. Thank you, Himothy. Thank you, Himothy. All right. Get plus one, plus one. We're going to have to pass some negative defense stats, which really sucks. Um, but I'll, actually, maybe I don't even have to. Now that the Palafin's gone, Himothy's just, like, clear to win. We're being honest here. Let me Terra Fire, Aqua Step, and Rage Powder. And as long as he's not Safety Goggles or Terra Grass, we're, like, set. He's Terra Flying. Interesting. Uh, probably not Goggles. Ooh, all right, he's not Goggles, but he also doesn't KO me, uh, so we're fine just to Aqua Step again. And I have to Rage Powder once more. I don't think he actually beats this anymore. Unless he has, like, an Amoongus in the back, he can't really beat this. Timothy's going off. He really is. All right, please be, like, Flutter Man, because I definitely KO. Oh, buddy. Buddy, you do not eat this hit, and I know where the close... I, I know where the focus sash... Or, not that... I can't think of the word. I know... I, I know where you sleep. Okay, Rage Powder, Close Combat. <laughs> I know where the Assault Vest is. That's what I've been trying to say. You already burned your Terra, too. Terra Flying is interesting. I guess that's just for, like, Great Tusk. And I guess opposing Ting Lu. Dang, that's crazy. Goodbye, Ting Lu. All right. Close Combat, Rage Powder. That's game. He's Himothy, dude. All right. Now, this is scary. I actually don't know how I deal with this. Unless I open the team sheet. Eh? Eh? Open, eh show me the team sheet. Hold on. Um, technically, the Dragonite lead can just annihilate a possible Tailwind. So I think I have to do that. Late game Himothy isn't that bad, but it might be better just to leave it at home. Because I think that my Arcanine isn't too bad either. I definitely have to bring Flutterman. Thanks so much. All right, let's see. So it's Sharp Beak, Talent Flame, Terra Ghost. So I can actually hard call out the Terra Ghost and go for like a Protect Tailwind turn one. And that actually isn't bad. Uh, we see Amoongus, Terra Grass and the Flutter Mane's pretty cool. Rotom Wash, Garchomp. I would think that my opponent... Hmm. Probably always wants to Tailwind turn one. This is actually really rough for me, if I'm being real. Let's lead off with Dragonite. And Arcanine. Uh, Fluttermane for sure in the back. And man, this is going to be a really rough one. I definitely need. I definitely just need to go like full offense and not let up the pressure. All right, cool. Here's where we just straight up predict the, um, the Terra Ghost. And I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp onto this Garchomp in Terra Water. Uh, and match their Tailwind. They don't do what I thought they would do, but this is fine. Because Dragonite eats. Awesome. They actually, like, that's really big for us. Because I should be able to Flare Blitz, and we'll just Ice Spinner. Covers, like, every option. Like, Rock Slide could hurt, don't get me wrong, but now that the Garchomp's burnt, I feel a lot better about this. And they just hand over the Amoongus, and I get an Ice Spinner off. Okay, this went a lot better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I, I thought they were just going to Terra Ghost turn one. All right, Rotom Wash. Um, they could still Terra Ghost. I'm just going to double E-speed the Rotom. And I win with, like, Flutterman. Or I guess it's, it's like, responsible to E-speed the Talonflame in case it ends up not doing what I think it's going to do so I can Sucker Punch it. Um... All right, I'm going to E-speed and, and E-speed. I'm going to, yeah, 
There we go. So now, now the Gale Wings is broken. That's fine. And I think I end up winning. Because now their moves are no longer priority. Yeah, and they end up KOing themselves with Discharge. So Fluttermane just comes out. That's that's game. Extreme Speed. Moonblast. Oh, interesting. All right, well, now I win with Chen Pao. Hoggers. All right. Ice Spinner is neutral. Moonblast. GG. Nice. Yeah, I really thought they were going to Terra Ghost turn one, so I was like, ah, I can I can make the middle ground play, and it ended up working out anyways. They actually didn't tear until the Rotom. Um, so, you know, it's, it's whatever. Whatever. They can, uh... That you're going to do something big brain in the first two turns. I was calling out Terra Ghost on E-Speed play. Look on games tonight or today, depending on where you live. Unfortunately, no Himothy appearance there. But if there's ever been a game where Himothy can show up, it's certainly maybe not this game, but we can try. Um, it actually looks like Dragonite E-Speed spam is my best friend in this game. If we're being completely honest. Uh, yeah, and Terra Water Arcanine is also not bad. Maybe. Possibly. It looks like they just want to go for Trick Room turn one. So, if that's the case... How do I deal with this? Huh. I actually don't know how I do it. I don't have Taunt anywhere on this team. This is an issue. Open up your team sheet. Open your team sheet. All right. Uh, let's just go with the... Yeah, let's go with Chen Pao, Dragonite lead. See how they end up responding to that. My Among Us is Terra flying. Do I have to leave Himothy at home? I have to leave Himothy at home. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, here they go. Um, so what I can do here is just try to KO you. Ice Spinner... Plus a second ice spinner, I guess. And then E-Speed spam under Trick Room should allow me to deal with um Oracle. Alright, no fake out. Interesting. This should do a yeah, solid amount. Grain Punch doesn't KO me. I do have the option to Sucker Punch now, but I have to call that out as well. I'm just going to protect and go for the second ice spinner. Assuming they want to burn me. Dragonite can, like, take a wild charge pretty well. They actually go for this. Ooh. Ooh, scary. Play rough. Don't drop my attack. Ah, oh, it's not good. All right. So in this situation, Amoongus feels like he's my best friend. And he'll always have my back. And that will never change. Let's haze here. And go Amoongus. Because I think they have to get rid of Dragonite. Oh no. Please, please spare Chen Pao. Spare him. Spare the boy. No. <laughs> Alright. Um, Terra Grass is still a possibility I have to watch out for. Spore feels like not a bad play. I'm slowly wearing down Trick Room turns, so I'm just going to go for this. Don't be Terra Grass. Be Terra Fire, like a normal person. He's going to be Terra Grass. He's totally Terra Grass. I could hard call it out, too. I could absolutely hard call it out. But it's, like, not worth it. Maybe I just double... I'm going to double... Yeah. Check this out. Bam! That's that's what we call a call out. I, I did both options. Uh-oh. Closed team sheet, baby. I, I, I chose the best of... Oh, I got neither. I got, I got neither. Uh, I did not get the best of both worlds. I am not Hannah Montana. I do not pass go. I do not collect $1 million. The good news is I can just protect and then like spore the Torkoal and Flare Blitz this next turn. And that's like an option. Uh-oh. All right, well, Flare Blitz totally KOs you in the sun, right? Question mark. Right? It's in the sun. 
You're a grass type. Silly goose. I could also double attack, but then I like lose if they eruption. I'm just gonna hope. Hope, hope, hope. Hope, hope, hope. Please, please just do the thing. I really wish I got that burn off. That doesn't KO. I should have pollen puffed, but I, I, I like I like lose anyways. Wait, hold on. This is doable. This is doable. Ice spinner plus side pollen puff could win me the game. It's not doable, by the way. I totally lose. Unless, like, the last Pokemon's Ting Lu with only Fissure, um, I lose. All right. Ice Spinner. How unfortunate. <laughs> I think had I not missed that Will-O-Wisp, I could have uh, possibly brought it back. But honestly, I think this is just, like, a really bad matchup, too. But they played well. All right, they stay asleep. This is my out. Just be like a really bad set. Just your last. It's Gyarados. Okay, I'm inner focus. If they are only waterfall, I can still win. Bam. That did nothing. They, okay, good game. Good game. Well played. All right, goodbye. <laughs> they're Dragon Dance. I was going to say, if they're like support waterfall, like I can I can win this. But if not, yeah, it's, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. All right. Um, it's probably gonna be the last one, but we're doing pretty good today for uh, for a Himothy team. We're doing pretty good, as well as uh, you know, I didn't actually practice with this this much, so yeah, I'm kind of happy. Uh, accept my team sheet, please. I want to look at yours. I want to figure out if your scarf or specs or life orb or sash, what your Terra is. Let me know everything about you. Black glasses. It's not the it's not the sword stance. Black glasses set. Uh, Terra dark. So it is very scary. Choice Scarf on the Chi Yu, that is important information. Uh, Dragonite. Salt Vest Azumarill. What remains booster energy? Whether it's speed or not is yet to be determined. Um, so I'm gonna do what we call a gamer move and I'm gonna lead off with Amoongus and Himothy and I'm just gonna try to take like an overheat and KO the Chi Yu with a single Aqua Step and then win the game like a hero. Uh, my last two Pokemon, I think I need... What's the Terra on the Dragonite? Terra Normal. I, I like need Fluttermane for the end game, and I think my last one has to be Chimpao. Okay, this is not the lead that I expected, but it's the lead that I deserve. Uh, let's go ahead and go for a Protect. And what move can they lock into? Heat Wave, Dark Pulse. I guess I could go for like... Terra Flying Spore. And just raw Aqua Step. And that could like actually win me the game if I'm if I'm like good. I already resist both of these. There's no need to Terra Fire. Let's go for it. Let's go. I got the Spore. Goes for Heat Wave. That doesn't KO me. Don't burn me either. I'll cry. That's a two shot. Get the Spore off. It is at this point I do Terra Fire actually. I oh wait I don't Terra. I can't I can't Terra Fire because I'm an idiot. Let me side Pollen Puff in Aqua Step again. That's fine. Get another Speed Boost. Hoggers. They do have the option to protect here, so what I'm going to do is Rage Powder and go for another Aqua Step. Because I wall out a Zoomerill, hypothetically. I guess I could also Close Combat. But I don't want to like, I don't want them to switch Chi uh, Yu in on that. So let's Rage Powder. Uh, they were Assault Vest, right? Yeah. Aqua Step again. That's fine. Because now I get in my Specs Flutter. And I think here I actually double. I go for Thunderbolt and uh, another Aqua Step into you. And that should KO. It's going to be really close. Aqua Step, please KO. I'll cry. I really will. It didn't KO. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. No, Himothy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sucker Punch will KO you. I lock myself into Thunderbolt. 
That sucks, bro. That sucks. I really thought I had him. I guess what I could also do is call them out. They know I have Sucker Punch, so I, my only way I win this is if I Thunderbolt the Chi Yu slot and go for an Ice Spinner. They didn't do what I thought they were going to do, and I lose. Eh, maybe not. Dang, if that KO'd, I 100% I won. Yeah, there's E speed. Uh, I have to Sucker Punch and Thunderbolt. <laughs> I guess I could Thunderbolt you and Ice Spinner here and just hope. Now they just KO. All right, yeah, GG, well played. That's fine. I think we still showed off the team fine enough. Uh, we are still not even in 1300. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, I think we showed off the team fine enough. I'll probably stream this. I'll stream with this team tomorrow. Uh, and just see how high I can ladder up with it. But uh, this was this was fun. I do enjoy the team, you know. Had I, had I not missed out on that KO, that was a win. You know, but whatever. Himothy still proved his uh, his worth. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.